Hi, I'm so excited to be here to share with you some creations with Colorful Life Designs new stencils. These are the fabulous new scene building stencils. I'm currently using the um, Desert Edger number one. I put a little pixie spray down and I'm going to ink blend a desert sunset background. I'm using Catherine Polar inks. I'm starting with party dress. I'm using foam blending tools, either the domed foam blending tools from scrapbook.com. Next, I'm going in with Tutti Frutti. And I did use some pixie spray to keep my stencil from moving. And next, I'm going to be using Tiki Torch. Actually, I'm actually blending a little bit of the party dress and the 2D fruity together. And now I'm going in with the Tiki Torch. I, I did use Pixie Spray just because these cactuses are very delicate and I wanted to make sure that they did not move as I was ink blending. And this is Tierra. I love these colors together to create a sunset background. And they're very dramatic. And Catherine Polar inks are fantastic for ink blending. I'm using, look at that, isn't that fantastic? I'm using Hammer Mill, the Hammer Mill Color Copy Cover Paper, um, 100 pound. It's a nice, smooth, and you can ink blend with it. It's a great all-purpose paper. You can also use, use it for your more coloring of alcohol inks and, and whatnot. So I'm going to be using the top half now of that same stencil. This is the Desert Edger one. That's what's so great about this release. These stencils are actually, in, in other words, cut in half. So you can use the top part and you can use the bottom part. I'm using the top part now as a mask over what I just ink blended. And I did spray that with some pixie spray so it would hold still for me. And I'm taking Catherine Polar Ink Blackjack color. This is a dark gray, and I thought it would be dark enough for my silhouette that I'm trying to create, but it actually is not dark enough, which you'll see here in a minute. If you're not familiar with a colorful life designs, I have the website linked below in my description box and I have a discount code to offer you as a design team member. If you use my code you can save 10% off your order and my code is TracyFan10. So as I said I didn't feel the blackjack was dark enough so I switched over to Versifying Claire Nocturne Ink which is a pigment ink Catherine Polar inks are a dye ink, and this does the trick. This gives the, the effect that I was looking for, that deep, dark silhouette, and it fills in lovely with this stencil. It certainly is very dramatic. Because this is a pigment ink, it totally saturates the paper, and it's a pigment ink, so it lays on top of the paper, so you want to make sure you're very careful and don't get your fingers in the ink. Otherwise, you will get ink on your fingers and then risk the ink getting transferred to your blended background. And I've done it before, and I know you have to be really careful. Once this dried, I had some stamps in my stash, a little fox and a little bunny rabbit, and the sentiment stuck on you, which is trying to be funny, obviously. The fox is checking out the bunny rabbit, right? So that card, I also put some foil in the background, a foil cardstock as a matte layer, and that is a bright pink color uh, foil cardstock. Next we have the Canyon Edger, and this one is Canyon Edger number one. I'm using the top portion, and I'm using the Catherine Polar Ink Catching Rays. What I'm going to do is simply 
use my foam dome blending tools again. You can use brushes if you prefer. And I'm just going to go along the edge of this canyon edger. Uh, looks fantastic, like a rock formation. I did not have to use any pixie dust. I just held it with my fingers and I'm using a silicone mat in the background. So that helps it from staying put. Next, I'm using this color called Polished of Catherine Polder Ink. And it's a beautiful coral color, I think. And I'm using the same stencil. I just flipped it in the other direction and I moved it down a little bit. Okay, once I clean everything up, I'm going to grab our Desert Edger 2. And this one features cactus um, a little bit taller than the previous. And you can see that I'm going to use the top portion. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to use some um, Tiara ink and fill in sort of the white space that was left. I'm just using the ink that was left over on that blending tool. I did not add any additional ink because I was going for a lighter effect. This stencil is Desert Edger 2. I'm using the top portion of this stencil. I decided I'd better tape this down with some washi tape just to keep it in place because I'm going to be using VersaFine Clair Nocturne ink and my domed foam blending tool to create the silhouette of these cactus. And I don't want my stencil moving at all. In case you missed my video last week, I created some cards using the mountain edger stencils and the tree line edger stencils. So I'll have that linked in my video. At the end of my video, I'll have that linked on the screen. You can just click on it and you'll be able to view it. And of course, please check out the description box below where you will see links to the A Colorful Life Designs website and you can check out more information about these innovative new scene building stencils that are layer, uh, layered stencils developed by A Colorful Life Designs. I'm super excited about this card. It reminds me of the um, southwest landscape and I'm going to be careful as I remove my stencil and clean it. I don't want to get any black marks smudged on my project. After I clean my mat up and clean my stencil, which by the way they're easy to clean, you can just use some water or just a little bit of mild stamp cleaner and takes that ink right off that stencil. You can use any combination of these new stencils together. Uh, you can certainly use both of the Desert Edger stencils, which have the short cactus and the tall cactus, if you'd like and you can use them with the Canyon Edgers. There's also one called Hoodoo Edger, which I haven't had a chance to play with yet, but please, you know, look for another video with me using that one. Um, there's also Canyon Edger 2, which is another fantastic uh, rock type pattern, rock type formation. All right, so I'm just basically masking what I've com completed already. So I'm taking those stencils. Remember, the stencils are cut in two, and that makes them extremely versatile. And I'm going to grab my Cloud Edger stencil from a Colorful Life Designs. This is from a previous release. And what I'm going for would be some nice puffy clouds, purples and pink, though. I'm not necessarily looking for your traditional blue. So I grabbed the color Serenade. This is a Catherine Polar ink. I'm going to grab the domed foam blending tool again. 
and I'll start creating my clouds. I also grab some lighter color ink, Sweet 16, and It's a Girl. Um, actually ended up using Sweet 16 and It's a Girl because they're a little bit lighter and I was really going for a pastel cloud background. I didn't want it to be too dark, but where I live, when we have sunsets, um, we have some very pretty sunsets that are sometimes pink and purple looking with a little bit of blue and they kind of remind you of cotton candy. So that's the effect I was going for here as I created these clouds. With the cloud edger stencil, you can rotate the actual clouds and you can design your clouds any way you'd like. I did put a mask down on this panel. So on the top left hand corner, I took a piece of masking paper and I have a circle, which is going to be my sun. So I put that down on my panel before doing the ink blended clouds. For the sake of time, I'm going to speed this up a little bit, which by the way, during this video, I did have the sections going on a faster speed than what I actually created them in person, uh, just because I wanted to maximize time. So there you have it. It's simple to use these stencils. You can interchange them together and make some really dramatic, beautiful cards. And I would encourage you to order some of these and play with them. And I think you're going to end up loving your creations. Once I finished my clouds, which I think turned out really nice, I will clean my stencil and then remove the mask. And I'll go in with some Catherine Polar ink, Tiki Torch ink, which is a nice orange color. And I'll use my domed foam blending tool again to blend the circle and just fill it in so that we have a nice bright sunshine. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to ink blend the edges. I, I used this blue color, ended up not liking it ended up trimming this blue color and instead going in with the pink around the edges instead of the blue. So here I am trimming off the blue. Like I said, it was a mistake. I shouldn't have used it, but that's what card making is. It's trial and error. And I'm using pink. I'm not exactly sure what color pink I have. It could be party dress. And I'm just going around the edges of this panel. When I finish this panel, I adhere it to a piece of hot pink foil cardstock and then to my card base. I'm going to have some still photos of the cards that I completed. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I do a lot of giveaways and so by subscribing and ringing the bell, you'll get notified as to when I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And also give this video a thumbs up, please. And leave a comment. I love receiving your comments and I read every single one of them. Now this card is one that I didn't have the camera running when I created, but I used the Canyon Edger stencils and I created this beautiful, um, I love this one. I also used the shimmering rays for my sun in the background and I used some of the tree line edgers to create the grass in the foreground. I had the wolves in my stash that I stamped and the sentiment in my stash that I stamped. Um, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out this video and be on the lookout for more from me in the future using the Colorful Life Designs stencils. Thanks everyone.